first week of a no buy year. But I'm not letting it get me down. $2,288.24. Five things that I actively realized I wanted to buy. I didn't know we were going to look up. Hey guys, today's vlog is my first week of a no buy year. Now if you're curious about what I'm talking about, I will link that video in the description box. Well, I just did the math of how much I spent in one week and it's shocking. It's shocking because I was actively not trying to spend any money but there's a lot of bills that happen at the first of the year and there's a lot of things that just get auto paid. So um, I'm gonna tell you all about that at the end of this vlog but welcome to my first ever week of actively trying not to spend money. <sighs> Cue the vlog footage. Happy New Year! Today's the first day I'm like leaving the house and could potentially be tempted. Oh, I left the house on the 30th and hung out with my friend and I did buy myself some Halala guys for lunch and some coffee, but those are okay on my no buy. It's the first of the year I would start vlogging and do my first vlog of 2019. I'm actually gonna hang out with my friend Samantha. She's back from tour. I got these reusable cleansing cloths because as you guys know, the last year or so, I've been more aware of my production of waste. I'm not perfect. I'm not zero waste. I don't know that I ever will be but I can make little changes. And I started with disposable straws in my home. My next step is we're composting this year and these reusable little cotton things. Now, I don't love them, but it could just be the one that I bought. It's a little bit more absorbent and rough. It's custom dose formulated for me from SkinCeuticals. And I'm really happy because there's only that much left. So my skincare is something I do feel like I go through quite often. Even if I don't wear makeup, I'm using skincare, so it's gonna go, I'm gonna use it, you know? This is the SkinCeuticals HA Intensifier. This has been really good, uh, cause I ran out of my PCA Skin Hyaluronic Booster Serum. I have a backup, but I didn't wanna open it just yet because it's my favorite, and I only have one more backup. See my problem with my thought process but I also figured I would try something new it has been really good this is like the total eye renewal but for nighttime but I've been using the ultra repair cannabis and oat dry oil from first aid beauty I really like this it feels really hydrating and soothing and I've noticed a little bit of the redness going away on my cheeks but that could just be because I'm back on keto I'm using up my biosense squalane Omega Repair Cream. There's just a little bit of that left, but it's super rich. And at night, I just wash my face with different cleansers. I'm gonna put my SPF on over by my makeup. So I talked about how I'm doing a project pan, so I'm using this as my SPF. I'm the Peter Thomas Roth Max Mineral Naked. And so I just love how that protects, hydrates, and it goes on my skin so smooth. And it gives you this just lovely glow. But my RMS uncover up this is also my project pan because look i almost hit pan mm -hmm. this was such a favorite of 2018. i have this weird fear that if i run out of something i'll never have it again powder this is the charlotte tilbury powder this stuff is my favorite too oh my god is she here already hello yes please thank you she got here so fast that far. But she literally texted me like five minutes ago. Literally just stopped vlogging yesterday when Samantha came over. Starting back where I left you guys off yesterday. Um, my entire face is pretty much the same. And then I'm going in with my Make, Make Bizu Bizu Lip and Cheek Tint. So I use this on my cheeks. Uh, meditate, get some work done, upload my empties video, write a couple blog posts. One of my biggest goals content wise is to just be better about my blog. That is where I started before I even knew what blogging was, before my YouTube channel. I use it as an online journal. It's my favorite platform because it's the only platform I own. And if you guys are considering starting a YouTube channel, Instagram, or a blog, I recommend starting with a blog because it is literally the only thing you'll own. 
and that will be around as long as you pay for the hosting. Day and age with how things move, like you don't wanna be stuck where you don't own your content or the platform that you put your content on. I don't think YouTube's going anywhere and it's my favorite platform to consume as well as create for, but I don't own it. And as we've learned from the last year, YouTube can just decide to not show your videos to your audience, to not promote your videos to the people that might be interested in it and your views will die and your channel will suffer. Um, I struggled with that a lot thinking I was doing something wrong but honestly, it's just how YouTube is now. Not saying that it's impossible to start it, just very, very difficult and um, slightly frustrating, but I'm not letting it get me down because I still love the platform. And I've been really enjoying my black oil mascara from Josie Moran, or is it Marin? I always say Marin, but I, I've heard it said other ways. So that's really all I do for every day and I've been loving it. Now, this is my like vacation put together face. I'm thinking about doing some shop my stash videos as well or bring back makeup bag Mondays, but I think every week is like a little too much. I might do like shop my stash or makeup bag Mondays every two weeks or maybe once a month. I'm gonna meditate now and then I'm gonna get back to work. Yesterday we were discussing how to develop a mind of non-judgment just took a little break and had some lunch. Honey went to the outlet and got himself some new shoes that are way too stiff. Stretching them out a little bit. Using my very nice blow dryer. No, I put that back. I was using <laughs> the other thing because I wasn't getting hot enough. They're a really good dupe, I guess, for the ones that I want, but don't want to spend the money on right now. So I'm just going to wear these for a while until I save some cash. Chris is not on a no buy because he's very good about his shopping habits. Twice since my low buy, Chris has been like, do you wanna go to the mall and walk around? And I was like, I'm hesitant to do this because that feels like setting myself up for failure when I haven't gotten a handle on shit yet. Do you wanna go with me to the outlets to get this, these pairs of shoes? And I was like, again, feel like I'm setting myself up for <laughs> failure. I'm gonna stay home. So I think like just even recognizing that like I shouldn't probably just go wander around where there's things that will tempt me to shop is probably a good thing. And somebody wanted to see like things I want but wanted to buy but didn't end up buying. So I'm keeping a list every time in my head something I'm like, oh, I should buy that or oh, I wanna buy that. It's only like Feb or January, February. It's only January 2nd and my list is one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> five. There are five things that I actively realized I wanted to buy, but didn't go and do it right away. And this is just five of the actual things I impulsively was like, oh, I should just go do that. Oh, wait, no. Okay, I'm gonna write it down so people know what I wanted to buy. You can probably multiply that by five. This is just five things in two days that I've actively remembered and wrote down. That's scary, because you can multiply that by five easily. So really 15 things probably have almost been purchased. <sighs> Happy Thursday. We are just working, nothing new. Chris and I are packing up orders for our shop and we're gonna drop it off, or he's gonna drop it off at the post office after we pack up a few more boxes. I spent most of the morning cleaning cause I just felt like it was really dusty. So even though we had the little robot, I hadn't run it in a while. So I ran it while I got ready and then I took the big vacuum and I vacuumed like all the dust and corners. Clean the house a little bit because mm -hmm. we've been a little bit floppy such a small space that's like a huge huge thing you've got to keep it clean anybody else watching that show what's it called oh uh tidying up with marie kondo yeah what a great show is anybody else watching that if you're not watch it it's awesome it's really good i read her book though so i already like know all the principles but seeing it in action is kind of nice seeing her implement it is what's cool yeah that's like the cool part and she's so like she's so non-judgmental yeah that's like the one thing that i i just I'm really impressed with. Yeah. Last night, I didn't finish vlogging, but I just went into cardio and closed out the gym. That's like my favorite time to work out because it's empty. I'm gonna focus and finish packing up these orders. No 
of spend is that whenever possible to drink coffee at home. I did the math. It's like I already buy my sugar-free syrup at bulk. I spend like $46, but it lasts us like a year. <laughs> and then we've got heavy cream in the fridge anyways for cooking, for our normal coffees every morning. And then if we get the espresso pods from Nespresso, they're about a dollar a pod. I'm not gonna like break down my syrup and my heavy cream to that extent because it's stuff that's already in our home. Dollar a latte versus almost five dollars a latte. And I like to have a latte in the afternoon. Sometimes I think of it as a treat, like going to Starbucks and getting my latte. Um, I crave it and I enjoy it and it's like my treat. It's almost like my dessert. Um, I can make it for a dollar at home. <laughs> we just have to plan ahead and make sure we have plenty of both coffee and uh, espresso pods to make everything because I have a frother. I have everything. It's like $4 a day for me that I'm saving almost just under $4 a day I'm saving. And then Chris doesn't normally get a latte, but he does normally get himself an afternoon coffee, which is about $2. So he's saving a dollar there. That's essentially $5 a day we're saving. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, I'm still at my desk. I just filmed two videos and Chris and I are going to go work out, come back, make dinner in the Instapot. Uh, by the way, whoever sends us free shirts, Thank you, because that's all Chris has to wear. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. It means free. But yes, he, 90% of his non-work, or non-work in front of people, is free t-shirts. We really appreciate it. And I'm not being sarcastic, I'm being completely serious. If you have a free male size, smaller <laughs> medium t-shirt, you like us to free advertisement. <laughs> He will wear it. If it's, long, comfortable. if it's comfortable, if it's not like itchy. I'm not wearing itchy clothes. I can feel my body fold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me. Look at me deceiving. Let you get the best of me. In bed with my worst enemy. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me. So put your hand in mine. Follow me. Let me waste your time. Set up the do some stupid shit. Take a seat. Let me waste your time. So be so put your hand I'm gonna start dinner in the Instapot. So tonight Chris wanted crack chicken. That's literally what it's called. We're back on a keto diet. Crack chicken, not the healthiest thing, but very, very delicious. It's chicken, lots of cream cheese, avocado oil, bacon bits, and lots of cheese, and then ranch seasoning. Normally I like to make the cracked chicken with a ton of really good, fresh, organic broccoli. I roast the broccoli, we eat it with the cracked chicken. Um, we're out of broccoli, we actually really need to desperately go get some groceries. We, we just have to make time to go do it. This is such a bad angle. And until then, we're kind of just like winging it. And I had everything for the cracked chicken. The problem with the cracked chicken without vegetables is it literally is just fat and a lot of dairy, um, which is not something I typically recommend <laughs> for uh, for being on keto, but you know, like if I wanted a cheeseburger and french fries, this is like that replacement kind of a thing. It's like a treat meal, um, but I'm not cheating. I did have a large Caesar salad with nothing in it other than lettuce and Caesar dressing because they forgot the chicken and then I added avocado. This was the first time I brought my camera to the gym and I was really like awkward and embarrassed, but basically today was no weights, but body weight workouts. So I did Pamela RF's booty workout, 10 minute booty workout, freaking hard. And then the muffin top workout. My current workout schedule, and actually you guys can follow my workout schedule. It's all YouTube videos between Whitney Simmons and Pamela RF. And then I throw in cardio in between each day. I'm going to create a playlist for you of everybody's videos and you can just do them yourself. First day is I do glutes and legs, then I do cardio and I did 20 minutes on the Stairmaster hit 
which I'll list out in the description box for one minute. Then I sprint for 30 seconds, walk for 30 seconds, sprint for 30 seconds, walk for 30 seconds until the seven or eight minute mark. And then I do lunges on the Stairmaster. And then I walk sideways on the Stairmaster, one minute on each side. And then I do kickbacks, two minutes. And then I walk backwards for one minute. And then I kind of just repeat that circuit for 20 minutes. Then I go on to a treadmill and I walk at 2.5 miles per hour at an incline of 10 or higher for an additional 20 minutes. Day three is arms and arms, chest, and back. And that's another Whitney Simmons workout, which I'll link. And then day four is cardio again. And I repeat my day two's cardio. Today is day four. I wanted to incorporate uh, no equipment body weight exercises. So I found Pamela RF thanks to Blair Walnuts. Hey Blair, if you're watching, I don't think you are, but if you are, hey. Did like a, I tried Pamela RF's workout and I was like, wow, this girl's like ripped and like the perfect kind of body that I would ever, would love to get, but not my body type. She's probably taller, leaner, all this stuff. And I'm gonna do, so yeah. And then I'll do cardio on the weekends if I do decide to work out, but I like to give myself the weekends off. What did you do today? Stuff. <laughs> What'd you do? I did shoulders, abs. So one of my Christmas presents I got this year was from my really good friend B, and she got me the Instapot. This has been amazing and literally all I want to make stuff in because it's so quick and delicious and fast. I said quick and easy to clean. It's just one pot. So um, I'm going to make dinner. Shower. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna probably be meditating by the time we get out, so I'll just be aware of that. What? I cannot wait to eat the shit out of this chicken. It's going to be delicious. Oh, my honey got a booty. Is this what you were say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Baby, you know we're recording. I didn't know we were recording. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I looked up and I saw the record light and I went, okay. Happy Friday. I failed as a vlogger. I left the camera at home when I went to the only event I had scheduled this week. <laughs> it was the only time I left the house. <laughs> My outfit, though. It was the L'Oreal new hair product reveal, which I was really excited to hear. It's like a conditioner that doesn't take as long to work but this is my outfit here's my sweater this is my skirt luckily there's shorts under because my backpack pulled this up for like literally I don't know how long before I realized <laughs> so that was embarrassing okay we're about to sit down and have a weekly business meeting for the shop as well as for YouTube I need to let Chris know upcoming content um, and my plans and my goals and he needs to let me know what's in the books you're just trying to be more organized and streamlined um, I need to get my bangs trimmed. This is driving me crazy. We're on a mission at Costco. I don't feel well, so Chris is running and grabbing all our food. I think I accidentally ate sugar. I feel like feverish. Mm, I don't feel hot. I don't feel good. Well, let's hurry and go home. First grocery run on my no buy. Chris had to remind me that we had a budget and a list. I did get like four things off our list, which is not horrible because the string cheese I forgot we were out of because we were out of it. Salami, I forgot we were out of because we were out of it. I did put back the pre-made salad because I can make it myself. Mm -hmm. I did put back the sausage because they wanted $16. <laughs> I get the bone broth because I made some. Mm -hmm. I did get cacao covered almonds and macadamia nuts that were not on our um, list, but macadamia nuts, we've had such a hard time finding in bulk. Can't find them anywhere. Our Chalk Zero is literally stuck and I'm gonna make Chris 
stopped by CVS to pick up some sugar-free chocolate. When I don't feel good, I need junk food. We ordered like $50 worth of Chalk Zero and it's, it was supposed to be here. Two days ago. DHL is the most unreliable shipping service. Which and is why we do not use them. Yeah. But I did have an urge to like go buy a bunch, a bunch of stuff. Um, because, you know, I'm a lot of my groceries, but it doesn't mean I buy a bunch of food we're not going to eat. I'm telling you, my spending problem isn't just with beauty products. In fact, it's probably, would you say it's more with other things than beauty products? No, it's it's equal. <laughs> there, there, like, there's no, you, there's no category that's one thing is worse than the other. It's literally just, I see, I want, I buy. Well, because plastic to me doesn't mean it's coming out of my bank account but it does yeah. I'm wearing my scarf from my friend Carla's mom's Etsy shop so if you guys want something like this I will link it in the description box I prefer to support like small businesses indie brands and stuff whenever possible you guys probably know this if you watch my channel I look hot I'm <laughs> tinting my brows Just flushed my nose which feels incredible if you guys haven't ever tried a nasal flush life-changing um i started flushing my nose after a ear nose and throat specialist told me that's how you prevent getting sick or to do it when you're sick to kind of move your cold along a little bit faster i'm really bummed because i didn't realize i was completely out of my alme one and the only one i have left is this one i got at the japanese market i used it and it seemed like it was already dried up so this is the second time i'm using the japanese market one and i don't know that i'm gonna get any more uses out of it maybe i'll get one more use and I'll be really bummed because I'm on a no-buy, even though technically I could repurchase that because I don't have anything else of that sort of a brow tint in my entire collection. But I, I was hoping I could go like a little bit longer of not buying anything, even if it is a restock, because I feel like I have so much stuff. Maybe I just will go without for a while. Chilling, I took a shower. I feel so much better after eating. Taking a shower, flushing my nose. I'm gonna drink my tea and watch some TV. Chill Friday night. Super chill. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I just sat down and went over everything that was charged to my card for the last seven days since I started my no buy. And I'm kind of like, I had to take a moment and just breathe. A year's salary right here. Fun coupons. See that? Because I was actively trying not to spend any money. I didn't buy anything that I wanted. I The only money I spent was literally to run our business and life. And I spent maybe like a minuscule amount to have lunch with friends before they left town and I don't regret that whatsoever. <sighs> so to clarify before I get into numbers of how much I spent, I need to let you know that in the last year, we incorporated our business, meaning my social medias as well as the shop. And with that, it's taken a long time to migrate everything over to separate between personal business. Before that, I had two separate credit cards and I would try and spend everything for business on one credit card and everything personal on another. We incorporated, it took us a while to incorporate and then it took us a while to kind of just figure it out and now we're waiting on a couple things to slowly put like the monthly auto billing stuff onto the business accounts, but it just takes time. This is not all of my business expenses for the week. A couple things I can just think off the bat is inventory, Chris pays for the inventory out of the business account. Rent, Chris paid for that. Uh, gas, Chris pays for that. Is there any business things in the last week you remember spending? Shipping for the shop. You, you, you place an Amazon order of business supplies. Yeah, plus uh, I did a quick office depot run. run. Uh, yeah. I'll just stop. Also, Chris paid for food for our groceries this last week. So we just went to Costco. He paid for it cash. That was 160 something. And then um, he paid for like a couple of lunches that he just picked up because we were busy and we didn't have groceries in the house. Bought coffee for the house. And um, you bought me chocolate. 
all of these business expenses and personal expenses that I'm not paying for is and I'm not telling you is because I'm not telling you is because I didn't pay for it so don't think that this is all it costs to run the business this is just the stuff that is left on my credit card auto payments or that um, I'm paying for because I get the bill right now and we have to move that over to the business at some point. Also don't forget about things like um, podcast hosting. Uh, yeah. That got, that got taken out this week too. Okay, but, so our yearly podcast host? No, monthly. Monthly? Yeah. Okay, so all these things. So this is maybe what, like uh, an eighth of what I pay for? Of, of what we pay for for the business, maybe a one tenth yeah. of what I pay for for the business. I, like some of you guys might be sick listening to this, and some of you guys might think it's a great deal. Just be aware, this is just how we operate, and this is there's reasons why things are so expensive. We live in a more expensive city. Um, for example, I'm going to tell you some of my insurance that we paid. Um, the reason the insurance is more expensive is because we live in a city that is more congested. Everybody drives. Um, Chris and I share a car, so that's more expensive because then it's double the risk in the insurance mind because our insurance was actually cheaper when we had two cars and we kind of argued with them being like, how is that possible? Because now like the value of what you would have to replace is less, but they look at it as double the risk on a single car, which is ridiculous because not like we can't both be driving it at the same time. Chris did get a minor traffic violation last year and that Let's not call it minor. Let's call it what it was. Stupid. It was stupid. Does anybody else out there know what an invisible island is? He got a traffic violation. He got some bad advice and said that he it did not go against him. So he didn't have to go to traffic school. And he didn't go to traffic school but paid the ticket. And now our insurance went up a little bit. Um, that will eventually go down. But at the end of the day, there's like all these minor little things that make things the cost that they are cost. I did call about making our insurance be cheaper, but then our coverage would be less and the risk isn't worth it in the price difference for us uh, because we do own two businesses and because I just rather have my insurance be a higher coverage like just in case, God forbid, anything were to happen. But it's something just as I'm older, I, I, I'm not willing to not have the coverage I feel like I need. I'm gonna break this down and give you the total of each category and then I'll give you the total at the end. First week of expenses, December 29th, which was the day I decided I was going on a no buy through January 5th. Blog spam renewal, $36 for the year. Blog hosting, $250 for the year. Things I bought on Amazon for the business. I bought a new hard drive for the year to edit and store my videos on, and I bought an extra light. That was about $300. Google, that's my Google Suite, and that's $15 a month. That was charged this week. Internet, $40 a month, and that was charged this week. So total to operate the business, $641 for this week. Giveaway prize shipping, so shipping you guys the holiday prizes that I picked out winners for, $99.10. I still have about 10 prizes to ship out. Car insurance, so this is a six month car insurance payment, $795.17 for the both of us. I'm gonna call them after uh, the weekend and see if we can do a, a monthly payment or a quarterly payment and if that affects the rate because Whew, almost $800 every six months kind of hurts me. And it really hurts because anytime I think I'm saving money, I get a big bill like this. Health insurance, this is monthly for me and this came out this week. This is $358 for my personal health insurance. Life insurance for Chris in case anything happens. This is for the year, $395 for the year. So just between our insurances, it's $1,548.17. So between must have business and life payments that I had to pay personally this week, $2,288.24. Now this is the stuff that didn't have to be done but I chose to spend my money on. Granville with Samantha because she was in town and leaving the next day. $19.17 plus I had $4 cash to tip. Halala Guys lunch with Tiff, $11.99. And then Starbucks with Tiff afterwards, $4.55. I 
also tipped on Uber $2. Um, I went to an event with L'Oreal. They did give me an Uber code to get me to and from the event. I was very close, but not close enough to walk. And I didn't feel right not tipping. So I tipped a dollar each trip. Total is $41.71 for extracurricular spending. So my entire week one total was $2,329.43. That's in eight days. Eight days. Obviously, the insurances are not, other than my health insurance, these are not monthly things. So hopefully next week I can be a little bit more frugal. It's very shocking because when I see this, I typically, after Christmas, would want to go buy and shop sales or buy a bunch of things that I wanted. You know, on top of the almost $2,500 I spent just to live, I probably would have easily spent another thousand dollars without thinking about it between like going out to eat and coffees and just shopping on um, things I didn't even really need. Um, I also have a list of things I thought about buying and instead of buying it I wrote it down. So there are more things probably, most likely there were more things, but these are the things that I remembered to s jot down in my phone. The Lawless, the One Palette, because I kept seeing it on Instagram and I love Annie Lawless, so I wanted to buy it. I wanted to buy more cotton rounds because I bought the reusable cotton rounds on Amazon before I went on my no buy to try and like save the planet. And I realized I should have bought maybe two packs of these because now I have to wash them a little more frequently. Immediately I was like, oh, I could just Amazon Prime it the next day and have more cotton rounds. Well, I didn't. Instead, I wrote it down and did not buy it. I wanted coffee after lunch on my way home from Samantha's and it would literally have just been me making her go with me to go get a Starbucks and drinking it on the way home. Instead, I went home and made myself a latte. I really wanted the Chanel Lip and Cheek Blush because I was watching Matilda's video and she just raves about it all the time and she mentioned it in her best of 2019. Uh, and I was almost tempted to buy it when she told me that it's still available online. I wanted a binder for my recipes, but you know what? I've gone this long without one. I can keep going a little longer. I wanted a new brow tint and almost immediately bought one because I'm on my last bottle of my brow tint. I use the Almay one all the time and I had thought I still had some left of my Almay but I didn't so I had to crack open the last bottle of the brow gel thing that I would have and it's from a Japanese market so I cracked it open. While I love the color of it, I felt like it I wasn't gonna get many uses. I feel like I just did it again yesterday, last night, and I feel like it's gone. So I'm stressed that it might be gone and I might not have it, and I wanna just go across the street and get it, the Alme one, or order it online, but I should just wait until I'm completely out of the brow gel before doing it. So yeah, I, I don't need to get it right this freaking second. I can use up what I have. I don't even know if I'm gonna get a full another set of tinting um like if you guys feel like i'm kind of stressed it's because i am like this is so stupid but um pacific time rachel talbot's shop was having 30 percent off sale and i really wanted to like just go and support her and shop things and i love supporting her shop i love her shop you guys know i buy a lot of things from her shop but i didn't need anything I wanted an acupressure mat because I saw one of the people I follow on Instagram use it and rave about it, so I was about to like just go and buy this acupressure mat. Mason jars and organizers. Chris and I have been watching Tidying Up with Marie Kondo on Netflix, and I want to just like reorganize our entire kitchen. We don't have a lot of clutter and stuff, especially once I get rid of the giveaway prizes, but I feel like our drawers are messy, and I really, really want mason jars to put all our spices in mason jars. Doc Martens. I used to wear Doc Martens in middle school and I really wanted Doc Martens and I kept seeing it on social media and I was like tempted to just go buy Doc Martens. But I am gonna put the Doc Martens on my wish list if I can find it thrifted. I will not buy it full price because I don't think it's enough of my style to break in a, a brand new pair of Doc Martens. Um, but if I can find it thrifted, I like that beat up look for boots. 
especially that type of a boot. So I'm gonna look for that while thrifting with Christine if she'll take me. I almost bought pre-made salads at Costco last night and they raised the price from $5.99 to $6.99. So it would have been over $3 a piece for these tiny little pre-made salads. And when I thought about it, if we just bought a $5 rotisserie chicken, I had all this lettuce at home from our last Costco trip that I haven't used. And I get a bottle of Caesar salad dressing. I already have Parmesan cheese. I can make way more and larger quantities of this salad. Drawer dividers. That kind of goes with like organizers because I keep watching Tidying Up with Marie Kondo. Um, but I'm not gonna do that right away. I'm gonna try and use boxes like she does. But her boxes look like she buys that. I don't feel like she actually like saves those from anything. Marie Kondo's boxes. Yeah, I think she buys those. The stuff I wanted to buy but didn't, and these are actively me remembering to write it down, this probably would have cost like easily a thousand bucks or just under. Oh yeah. So yeah, and that's in one week. One week. It's my update on cost of what I actually spent and things I wanted to buy. Let me know if you like these weekly check-ins and how you want these moving these weekly vlogs moving forward. I thought it was interesting to document my first week on a no buy, my impulses, continue to keep a list of things I want to buy but don't buy and do you want a separate video for that? What do you know? Do you like seeing what I spend in a week? Let me know in the comments. Um, but we're gonna head out and explore. So this vlog might not be completely over yet, but if it ends right now, that's what happened. Um, but we're going to go explore, where are we exploring? Silver, Silver Lake. Lake. And we're gonna go get ourselves some in and out um, It's the weekend, so. Chris wanted in and out which is actually cheaper than most places that we it's would 10 eat. Bucks. It's 10 bucks for the two of us to eat. He gets two burgers and I get one protein style and then we are going to treat ourselves to a Starbucks afterwards because mm -hmm. he was planning on it. I offered to make us lattes to, to go but he wanted it as a treat and it's on his card so <laughs> it doesn't go towards my I no buy. <laughs> It's also why I asked you to go get me chocolate last night. <laughs> so I am cheating a little bit by being like, hey, will you buy me a binder for my recipes? He still hasn't bought me a binder. I have one. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Okay. 